What's up world? Lee here with Sticks, Strings, and Other Things, my teeny tiny little corner of the internet where I come to you every other week and chit chat with you about all of the crafty things that I have been getting my hands on to. Today is the 4th of October. Yes, people, we've made it to October. We have. It's beautiful. It's great. This is episode 48. This will be going up on Wednesday, the 5th of October. I'm coming to you from a actually overcast Pacific Northwest. We have not had fall yet. Autumn has faffed off, gone running somewhere else, and we are not having autumn. We are having hot days. We are having high 70s, mid 70s, low 80s. Did I mention it is the beginning of October? I think I did. I did. I did. I mentioned it's the beginning of it. We do not have weather like this. We should have rain. We should have 60s. I should be living in sweaters again, or at least long sleeves. But no, 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 no. Summer has decided to stick around, and I, I, I'm ready to kick this person right out because without the rain, we still have smoke season. Yes, people, we are still suffering from smoke season. So if I sound a little coffee, congested, unable to breathe, that would be because my lungs have been stewing in smoke for weeks now, and they've just about done give up. Yep, they just about give up. It's, it's, uh, anyway. Today it's actually overcast. It, it's only supposed to get to the 70s today. But I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. I'm very, very hopeful. Yesterday, yesterday the marine layer was trying real hard real hard to make it be sure that the rest of the weather knew it was October. Sadly, it was the only one on board, so it failed. Anyhow, this is not a weather podcast. Although, you'd be surprised considering I just spent the last, like, three minutes talking about the weather. And here comes Stella. Here comes my girl. Here comes my Stella girl. All right. Yeah, you're going to sit down next to me? Okay. I got my Stella girl. She's she's getting used to the the having to get shot twice a day with insulin thing and is starting to forgive me for torturing her. Starting to. Right. Hopefully she will not do exactly what she's going to try and do, which is rub up against the tripod. Perhaps knock it over. We shall see. If your world kind of gets a little rocky, it's my Stella girl. Like that. Sweetheart, if you want to stay, you can, but you can't rub up on the tripod. It's not that expensive of a tripod. It can't handle a cat. It's a cheap, cheap tripod. <laughs> Anyhow, where was I? I was saying, ah, the weather. Um, it isn't a weather podcast, I promise. This is for cross stitch and knitting. Yes. And a cat that won't stop. She won't stop. All right, today I am drinking a lovely mug, <clears throat> sorry, a lovely mug of, what is it, a salty caramel pumpkin black tea, because it's fall. Whether or not the weather wants to agree with me, it is fall, and that's how we're going to be. Sweet. If you keep bumping the tripod, you're going to have to leave. Shall, shall I force a cat tax? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, cat tax. There's my Stella girl. <laughs> she does not like being held. There's my kitty. Cat tax. All right. Now she's dead. However much of that actually makes it into the episode, we'll find out later because it's been chaos. Okay, let's get into the actual, actual crafting because that's, that's why we're here. That is why we are here. I have... Sweetie, you're gonna make people sick. You're gonna make people sick with the bumping. I want you just hang out next to me. I have been working on a few things. I have not fully finished anything, because, well, I never do. We should realize that by now. I have not technically finished anything. I have a few finished for nows. Um, because, sweetie, really, she's making my life hard. Um, because most of what I've been working on have been stitch-alongs. 
I will be honest. I signed up to many stitch along too too many stitch alongs this year. Too many. I, I'm adjusting those plans for next year. But this year is this year where I have way too many stitch alongs. That's the one that's not a stitch along. So we have a handful of stitch alongs living in this lovely little bit 88 bag, nice and spooky, is my Witchy Stitcher Supernatural Stitch Supernatural Piece. I'm doing it on a piece of 40 count peanut by Be Stitch Me using all the called for DMCs. I am up to date. Yes. Still have not finished the outside border. No. But I'm getting close. I'm getting very close. Oh, yes. Mm, look at that. Look at that. Oh, so good. So very good. I am still loving this piece and so glad I'm still working on it. What do I, oh, I was like, what is that? Needle minder. Right. So these are the latest two, if it focuses. There we go. We have the gnome and the vampire. So wonderfully fun. I love the gnome. He's, he's funny. <laughs> he amuses me. So. Supernatural, or in my world, Betis Noir, because grammar, <sighs> basically. That's why. That's why. Because of grammar. I love this piece. I'm still very, very, very much enjoying it. I could probably cut off all the excess, but <laughs> if you've been here before, you you know I don't do that. Until, until, I, yeah, I never do it. So, there we are. This weekend will be another release. No clue what it'll be, but I'm excited. I I don't even know what I want on this one. On um, Supernatural, no, nope, on Cryptids, I really wanted a Kraken and I got a Kraken and I was very happy. On this one, I, I don't even know. Do not even know what, what I want to see. I'm enjoying all the little bits and pieces. It makes me so happy. Still up to date on that stitch along though. Considering how many stitch alongs I've started this year and haven't kept up to date on, I'm gonna brag about the ones that I have. And this would be one. Yay! Another stitch along that I have kept up on is living in this Gay Ron Toten bag, Washington. And that would be my Modern Folk Embroidery Mystery Stitch Along for this year. I am doing it on, what is it, 40 Cow Tawny Buff by Sassy's Fabbies, and I am using Almond M&M's uh, Silk in the colorway Raven. And I have October done. I do. I, I've been, I've been working hard on this one. So, there she goes. She doesn't like the fabric touching her. <laughs> so here we are. Here we are on this one. Here's the whole thing as it stands now. Look at it! Oh my gosh, there's just that small little hole on the right. Sorry, left. On the left. Ah! Uh, or, no, it is the right. It's, it's, I, I was right the first time! Should not doubt myself. Just have that right hand side. Two more months. Oh, look at that. Look at, oh, this is so pretty. I am loving this piece. I will bring it forward for this month's section. There we are. We have that awesome tree of life going on in there. And finished up this basket. All these funky birds. So many funky birds. There's this funky turkey, chicken, rooster. There we go. There's this funky rooster, there's this guy, they both look like they have crowns on their heads, and then there's this dude down here, which looks like some sort of, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know, and then I have the, the jumping jack ladies. The crowned heart. The letter E. I really like the E. Let me see if I can bring that forward to see if you can. The E is so neat! And then we have the deer there, and it took me until after it was all finished and I laid it out to realize that the two little things by the deer's legs 
are the numbers one and eight. Yes, yes, it took me after stitching it to realize what, what that said. So I'm guessing the other half of the year will be on the other side, and I'm going to guess we're going to get a T as well, because her name, which I still cannot pronounce, starts with an E and a T. So I'm, I'm making assumptions here that the other initial on the other side will be a T. We will see if I am right. Who knows? But oh, I am just, look at this. It is so pretty. <sighs> Jacob from Modern Folk Embroidery is doing another um, Black Sampler November next month. So I might participate in that. I might not. We'll see. But at the very least, I'll semi-participate because I will be working on this one for the November section, which is a Black Sampler. So no matter what, I will be working some what in Black Sampler November, but only a little. I don't know if I will have more plans than that. We will see. So that is that. Where was I putting things? I was putting them there. Okay. Next up in Stitch Along Land, living in this lovely dot dot goose bag with cat hair on it because I live in a house with cats. This wonderful firefly, therefore foresty thing bag that I have had is my Autumn Lane's Designs Dark Queen of the Forest. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I am doing this on the nightshade colorway that Something the Sea, Des um, Dyer, Under the Sea, Woo. Under the Sea, Fabric Dyer, dyed. I chose the Nightshade colorway. And, oh yes people, I have finished part two. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, and there's my lovely stitch minder, or uh, needle minder. And there is part two completed, even including the sparkly threaded neck stitch. Oh yes, that was nigh on 2,000 stitches, folks, 2,000 stitches. So yes, in two days, two, because I'm filming on the third, I have not stitched any today. No, today's the fourth. Today's the fourth, in three, in three days. I have finished October's Modern Folk Embroidery, and I have finished October's section of Dark Queen of the Forest. And on the first, I barely stitched because it was game day. It was, it was game day. We were, we were here playing Gloomhaven. Oh, there's been a lot of stitching the last few days because I have plans for the rest of the month, and I wanted to get my stitch-alongs out of the way. <laughs> and I did, and I loved them, and they were so good, and just look... Just look at that. It is so fun. It looks... I wasn't sure about the weird liver lobe things on the first part. They kind of look like liver. But now, now, all I see is some weird sort of... I don't know... Venus flytrappy carnivorous plant. And that I'm here for. I love it. I love it. I love it. Closer, so you can see the bits of backstitching there. Oh, I'm loving this. I am loving this. No clue what the rest of it's going to look like. Obviously, it's a mystery. But, oh yeah. Wait. Oh, Stella's back. Stella's back, so if the world shakes, you know why. Hi, Stella girl. Yeah, I'm still I'm still doing weird stuff and you don't like getting touched by the fabric, so you're gonna have to figure it out, honey. You're gonna have to figure it out. So oops, I thread. At least I know which one it goes to. It goes to modern folk embroidery. Oop. Let's put that in there. So I'm not like where where did this random black thread come from? Where? Now I have two other things that I have worked on since I last filmed stitching wise. And they are this one, 
which is I don't even know who made this bag. I don't I don't see a I don't see a a maker. But it's my little Paris bag because I like Paris. And inside is my modern folk embroidery Isabella's heart that I am stitching up. There. Let's try and get no glare. No glare is good. I am halfway done. A little over technically. Technically over halfway done. But here it is. Oh yes, look at that. I have all of this side finished, which is why I said I was halfway done, because I'm thinking about completion. Oh, look at that. It looks so good. Oh, I am loving this. This will be coming out again next month. It is not coming out again this month, but look at that. Oh, it's so good. So good. Down here, I have changed the motif that was here to a B. There's another one on this side that I'm changing to a G. Oh, look at that so pretty i'm going to bring it a little closer forward so you can revel in the glory of this prettiness so pretty yes oh. so nice i'm loving this piece i'm still surprised at how small it is <laughs> i don't know why but i'm surprised this is a leo and roxy kit that i bought off of evertote it has the leo and roxy flosses and then it was a one of a kind uh, Leo and Roxy blue 18, 18 count? I think it was 18 count linen. Um, Ada, not linen. 18 count Ada. I usually don't do Ada, but I loved this color so much with this piece that sometimes you just go with the thing that looks the prettiest. Sometimes that's the Ada. And I forgot to put the pattern back in. Let's try that again. Right. I, again, am loving this piece. It is so pretty. I do want to get it done easily this year. And I don't think that's going to be a problem. The last thing that I have been working on is my 25-7 project. However, I am six days behind counting today. Yeah. Uh, things got a little hectic at the end of last month. And work was, whoa, busy on Friday. Uh, which was great because we had an amazing sales day. It was a Good day, very good day, but ooh, exhausted. And then, like I said, I Gloomhaven day on Saturday. So I, I'm a couple days behind on this one. I'm hoping to catch up. I will catch up because I've been very much enjoying 25-7 and I'm getting a lot of progress. It's amazing how much you can get done in just 25 minutes a day. I love it. So I will be getting back to it. This is living in this dot dot goose bag. And I chose it because, again, it's modern folk embroidery. You might think I like this person. Yes, I do. I'm doing the Ruskin's Penguins. And I am doing this on a 40 count Be Stitch Me in Scotsman using the Leo and Roxy floss colors. And there, let me put this behind it. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh yes, I have the border. Yes, I'm correct. I have the border 100% complete. I'm working on all of the snowflakes and other random snowflakey bits. Then I just need to do the heart and the two main attraction pieces of the penguins. Oh yes, the penguins. Oh yes. Anyhow, I am adoring this piece. I, I just love it. I cannot wait to finish it. And again, I'm about six days behind. If I was up to date like I should be, I don't even know where I'd be because six days is a lot of, of stitches. So, huh. this one will be getting finished this year easily as long as I quit getting behind on, on it. So yeah, I am doing the little fill-in bits. I have these, these, and that. So, however long that takes me day-wise, who knows? But I'm loving it, enjoying it, it's good. Let me get the pattern back in the bag. And that is all of my uh, stitchy whips. Knitting-wise, I'm not showing you two of the things I'm knitting on because, um, it only makes sense to at 
bigger push, bigger points parts done. One is my hue shift blanket. I showed that last time. I have done, I think, a square and started a second square. So unless I get like a bigger chunk of it done, I, look, here's a little more. Mm. It seems weird to show it off. The other one is actually crochet. It is a crochet blanket that I'm working on and it also has made some progress, but mm, not enough. I'm, I only am going to show that when there's noticeable difference. My work project, again, I did get some work done on it, but not, not so much. So I am not showing it. So the last thing that I worked on knitting wise, I will actually show you. I know, <laughs> bizarre, but it is my Chook House sweater by Skein Deer, Ellie of Skein Deer Knits. And oh, look at that. Oh yes. I was mostly finished with this bottom lace section. I think it was about here. I did not put a stitch marker on. I was about here when I last showed it. Now I am ready to stop the body. This is as long as the body goes and start in on working on the sleeves. Now it's been that way for about a week. <laughs> have I started a sleeve? No, I have not started a sleeve. <laughs> mm. I need to start the sleeves and then I knit two sleeves from the cuff up, attach them to the body and then work the yoke. But oh, look at this. Isn't that so pretty? It'll look so much nicer after it's blocked. But I do kind of love how just the way it is now, the way the bottom border works, it kind of weirdly scallops the, the ribbing at the bottom. I don't think that's how it'll look from after you wash and block it, just looking at all of the other um, projects that are on Ravelry. But I'm amused at how it's doing it during the knitting. I love it. I love this so much. It is great. I am using Ramagarn Vams in the color number 53, which is petrol. Come on, focus on the label. There we go. Lovely Norwegian wool, nice and squishy, nice and sticky, nice and hello, spit splices. <laughs> there will be nothing to weave in. Well, except the beginning and the end. I'll have two things to weave in and potentially at the armholes, <gasps> whatever. Very few, very few. <laughs> I think I am on ball three, maybe four for this right now. Oh, and I love it. I just love it. I'm doing these on my mindful needles. It's a US 10, six millimeter needle. And I have these lovely ghosties, ghosties as my needle tip protectors. I love it. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good. It just, it's been hot and I don't want to knit on a wooly wool sweater when the world is forgiving, for, for denying me fall. It's denying me autumn. And so this got put away in anger at the weather and uh, sleeves. It's living in my, oh, oh, um, grandma bags, my awesome granny bag because it's huge and I love it. Right. That is all my whips. And I'll be back in half a moment to show you what I've bought and plans and a few other things. One moment. Right. I'm back. I took that moment to down a whole bunch of tea as well because, huh, I'm not awake. I am not. I'm not awake. I'm not awake. So, plans. Oh boy, do I have plans. I have so many plans. I have plans coming out of my plans that are attacking me with more plans. When it comes to my knitting, I, I would like to get more done on. More done on my sweater so I can wear it. Hopefully soon. If the weather behaves. We went through that already. Right. <laughs> so that's my plan for knitting. That is my main plan for knitting. Um, if that's feeling too daunting, I have socks. I'm thinking about starting a sock head slouch hat uh, because I have some trips I'm going on this month because of course I do. The month that I plan to do all of the crafting, I end up having to leave my house multiple times. Why? Why do I have to leave my house? 
why? There's people out there and smoky air. Why do I have to leave my house? Anyhow, uh, I do have some other plans for knitting. We'll see what happens with knitting, what actually occurs. It's the stitching. The stitching where I have all, all of the plans. Because you see, there's 13 stitches of Halloween and there's also Darktober stitching. Oh yeah. So living in here, it's a little bag, this little jar. It says to be stitched on it. There are multiple little pieces of paper. Each one of these pieces of paper is a spooky stitch that I want to either stitch or start this year. This month, in fact. Not just this year, this month. Right in here. So, each day that I don't have all this other stuff that I've been doing, I will pull out at least one of these to see what I will be stitching on. I will stitch on it for a minimum of two hours or 200 stitches. I haven't decided which. Um, I'm thinking at least 200 stitches, so I actually have a real start on the project. And then, if I'm feeling rambunctious, I will pull out a second stitch and start it on the same day, perhaps, or not, because um, it's already the third and almost the fourth, and I have a lot. I have a lot of, oh, a lot of pieces in here. I don't know how many, because I kept adding, because... Well, you'll see that in, in stash, but I kept adding, here comes Stella again. She just cannot stay away. She just cannot stay away. Oh, sweet girl. So, you know what I'm going to do right now? Yeah, I am. I'm going to open this and I'm going to take out my first project for dark 13 stitch, dark October stitching and 13 stitches of Halloween. I'm doubling up. I don't think any of them will care. What are we stitching on? If it says supernatural, it has to go back in. Broomstick Brigade by Lindy Stitches. Focus. Oh, you're not gonna focus on you. All right, that will be the first thing that I stitch on. I would show it to you, but almost all of it is in the other room. Yay! Yay! Oh, that's cute. If uh, you watched last episode, I showed off almost all of my planned um, October stitching in that month, and so I will have shown off Broomstick Brigade. Oh, yay! Oh, yay! I'm excited! Oh, okay! Yay! Um, so that is that is mainly mainly my my goal for plants <laughs> is all of the October spooky stitching. It's the month, the weather could cooperate, life would be a lot better. <sighs> I just want rain and fall and cozy blankets and tea and stitching and knitting. That's all I want, that's all I want. Is that too much to ask in the month of October? I don't think so, I do not think so. Anyhow, I keep going back to the weather thing because uh, I've lived in the Pacific Northwest long enough at this point now that I need the rain. I need it. I need it. Anyhow, that, that, oh, I'm excited. I want to, I want to stop like right now and just go start that stitching. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'll finish here. That's, that's mainly my plans right there. Uh, see, see, whatever I end up knitting on, yay, I knit on it. And dark October stitching. That's it. That's all, that's all the plans are for the rest of the month. It's so exciting. I can't wait. So let's get into haul because I've got some and some of it actually ends up in plants because you see, I don't know if you can see that very well. This right here. Yeah, I got the Autumn Lane Designs Cassandra's Halloween mystery box. Oh yeah. I'm wearing the ghost earrings. Yep. Yeah. Um, there have been multiple people who have done unboxings and filmed them and put them up. I 
was super impatient and was not filming an unboxing. I just ripped into that thing like, like a crazed bear. It was bad. Beautiful box. Lovely. If they do another Halloween box, I'm doing it. <laughs> oh yeah, sign me up. If they do another Halloween box, I am there. I'm not going to show you everything that came in the box. I did take the fudge to work because I couldn't eat it because it was made from corn. Unsurprising, but the maker, I emailed them to see what it was made out of. They let me know really quickly. So fantastic on their side. I took it to work. Everybody loved it. My boss even said, hey, it prevented him from, her from murdering people. So that's how good the fudge is. Evidently, it can prevent murder. It can prevent stabbings. So wonderful. Um, but that does mean that because it was an Autumn Lane stitchery box, there were patterns. Oh, yes, there were. Yes, there were. So that's what's hiding in here. There's this pattern which I'm not sure, it, it's, it is not in my, in my, in my jar. But if I, I run out of things in my jar and I want to start more things, this will be on the list. As will this one. So this is a spooky stroll and this is Good Witch, Bad Witch. Oops, there we go. Oh, so good, so good, so good. Those two are not on my my list. Then there was the surprise. It also is not on, not, not in, not in my jar. But tonight we ride. It's in the jar. Oh yeah. It's in the jar. And all of this is, is, is stash. So it's in the jar because you got that. If you've seen other openings, you saw the box. It's this, their needle binder is this and it came with all the things you need including this amazing be stitch me fabric and i will be doing it this direction with the dark bits on the bottom and the light bits at the top because well the moon will go like right here oh yeah Oh yeah. And this is uh, Be Stitch Me in Pumpkin Patch. It's a 32 count. Oh yeah. The DMCs they gave us on the lovely tombstone thread drops they got us. Oh yeah. Obviously uh, that one is all ready for this. And I cannot wait. And yes, I have the other blocks in here, but I figured I don't need to put them on the thing until I'm done. Then there was also all of these. They are the um, hand by do hand dyed by Rolanda threads, and I think I will be using these in a couple of my dark thirteen stitching, dark October thirteen stitches of Halloween. I'm just going to start calling it Dark 13, which is a whole different thing because that's that's the thing that you do on the 13th of every month. You pull out your Dark October stitching. <sighs> I will get it right. Just like eventually I might actually call Dark Queen of the Forest by the correct name, which is Dark Queen of the Earth. But for some reason, it got stuck in my head as Dark Queen of the Forest, and that's all I can call it. Right. So that's some of my stash. Another thing of stash is my... Be Stitch Me fabric came for this month. I get 40 count. It's sand dollar and oh, I don't know. It's blowing it out a little bit. It is a good color. This is a really good color. I love this neutral. It's, ooh, that's a much better representation. So good. So good. So there's that. My McMullen Fiber Company showed up this month. It is on based on that lovely pattern. I usually do it the other way around, but no, uh, whatever, I'm doing it this way today. It's on their Sublime base this time, which is 100% Superwash Merino single ply. I don't know if I put this one in my, I'll have to double check. I've been keeping up to date on my 
spreadsheet. And I don't remember if I put this one in. I don't think I did. So I'll have to double check on that one. All the other yarn I have, I already have in my spreadsheet. It's bad people. I have made a decision on this club though. I am not getting it next year. It's beautiful. I love all the yarns, but they are piling up and I am not stitching them as fast as they are showing up. So this one sadly will be one that I do not continue next year. My Farmer's Daughter's Fibers Sock Squad for October showed up and it's called For Fox's Sake. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It is on their Pilter Sock, which is their 7525 uh, Merino, Superwash Merino Nylon Base. Oh, look, look, look how perfect that goes. Mm -hmm. This one, this one, if they do another Sock Squad next year, I'm joining up because I love their socks. They are so good. The temptation to cast this on is really, really high, but I have like five unfinished sock projects right now. I cannot cast on another sock project, <sighs> but I want to, I so want to. And oh, then I wanted to start, oh, where did I put it? This one. Oh, it's right out. It was the um, stripey sock from last month. Mastella girl is so cute down here. <laughs> She's just all curled up and sweet. Begging for pets. I know this one is in my knitting. And then uh, there was, there was, there was, see, I work at a yarn store, which is detrimental when you're a knitter. At least detrimental in getting a paycheck sometimes. So we had a trunk show and the dyer was there and it's cereal knits or cereal, cereal dye. Serial Knitters Underground. There we go. I was going to get the name right. Serial Knitters. Serial Knitters. There we go. That's the name of the yarn. She was there. And we always have some of her, her yarn because we, we carry her yarn. We're, I think, the only store in Seattle that does. I think we're the only store that does. And she was there and she had all this glorious yarn. And I was tempted by, by this color. It is a one-of-a-kind dye on her phantom lace base, which is um, her mohair kid silk, and it's called Avasarala. Oh yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. If you know anything about books and TV shows, you know who Avasarala is, and isn't that gorgeous? And then I saw it with with this color, which is on her DK base. And this is called Deep Relaxation, which is the best color in the world, in my opinion. It is gorgeous, gorgeous color. I saw these two together and went, ooh. Oh, those two go nice together. I should get those and make something. And my coworker saw it and she goes, you know, if you buy two more of each of those, you can make yourself a love note sweater. So I bought yarn to make a love note in this. Oh my god. It is so good. It is so damn good. As soon as I finish my Chook House by Skein Deer, this, this will be cast on and started because gorgeous. So gorgeous. And then I have two colors in fingering because this one I fell in love with. It's called Mineral Deposit. It's a one-of-a-kind. And if you don't get the one-of-a-kind, you don't get to get it again later. She can't make it again. I just loved the colors. And I want this to be a sock head slouch hat. Because I think it's gorgeous. So this may get cast on on one of my trips. We'll see. It'd be smarter for me to just finish up some socks on a trip. But sometimes I like a new start on a trip. I, j I can't help it. Anyway, that, that may happen. And then I had to get Party at Acorn had to. Look at, just, uh, 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 it's a good color. Reminiscent of this, but very different. Like, look, look at those. This is all sorts of much moodier. And then this is all like, woo, party. Love it. Love it. So those are purchases from work that I didn't need to do. I also bought another bag from Ginger Snap. 
it's a nice wintry bag and it's very very pretty and I love these 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 style of bag it's so good because they just pop open I love them it came with some minis this is her iced kissed mini snap set very good <clears throat> very good match for the bag and then inside you have a forest which just yeah I don't need any more bags I don't but I love these bags because they're just easy I love them and speaking of not needing any more bags Amy fat scroll bags she did a Halloween Halloween release of bags and sadly I got on a little late and two of the ones I wanted to buy were, were, were sold out. I was going to buy more than one bag. I've been saved from my own greed by other people buying the bags. But I did get my second favorite. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Look at this bag. Look at that fabric. I love fat scroll bags. Amy does just, uh, Amy does such a great job. Look at it. Look at this. Oh, and you have the spooky fancy skeleton. You have the flying skeletons. You have these lovely ladies. I am in love with this bag. I love her bags. They be the best. And I still haven't even put the handle on it. This is going to, uh, today, <laughs> be filled with my half and half wrap. Because the bag I have it in currently, the fox bag, it's, it's busting out of that sucker. And I need to shove two more skeins in it. <laughs> It can't hold it. It can't. It's, 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 the bag is, is, has, the project has outgrown the bag is what it is. So it's going to go live in this one. Oh, oh yes. Look, 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 look. I love this bag so much. So it, my half and half wrap is going to live in this and it's going to go with me, go with me on a couple trips because half and half wrap trip. Perfect knitting. Perfect. 1000% perfect. That is all my purchases. Thank God. Oh, technically not. Technically not. This, this, this is also a purchase, but this is something I purchased a while ago. Katrinkles. It is a, um, knitting tchotchke brand. They, they do stitch markers and stuff like that. They sold a Halloween countdown box. So I've been opening it. I have all the little items I've opened over here. So first we have a stitch marker bone. And then the next day we opened up the little baggie that had these. Right side, wrong side. So nice. King size and fun size too. <laughs> so right side, wrong side. Then yesterday, it was these little guys that you can put on your knitting. Ooh. So I'm not going to be able to show these. There's some ghosties. There's, oh, I wish I could show this one. Will it focus? Oh, it will. So I have bats. Ghosties. Pumpkin. And a kitty in front of the moon. So these, like, when you finish a hat, you can just kind of sew it on the brim or the base of your sweater just as a little, a little fun thing. So those were yesterday. And then this morning was Skellicat. 
I'm very much enjoying that. It's really fun because there's just these little tiny little envelopes. You open one and your little, little, little tchotchke pops out. A little knitting tchotchke. Makes me very happy. Considering how much knitting I need to do, it's a good thing. That is all the purchases, thank God. I, I am making vague plans for next year, which include not buying a lot of yarn and not buying a lot of cross stitch. I want to stitch down some of my stuff. We'll see how long that lasts. But I, I'm... I'm making plans. I might do my own um, version of Stitch from Stash. I might do my own version of a No New Starts. I may actually join a No New Starts group. I don't know. Um, but I'm, I'm leaning those directions because I have so many pretty things. And half of them aren't even started. And I, I just, I kind of want to wrap up in all of my crafting and enjoy. And yeah, I'm having so much fun. So, life stuff. It's been busy. It's been a bit busy. I'm I'm slowly prepping. Oh, it's my stitch marker from the other day. Uh, <laughs> I've been slowly prepping for uh, coming up with plans for next year. Things that I want to focus on stitching wise, knitting wise, stash wise, and it's fun to kind of start poking around at it. This month I'm going on a couple of different trips they'll be fun. I'm, I'm looking less forward to the first one than I had been because it's nearer to the fires, which means the air quality, I checked it today, um, the air quality there is very unhealthy as opposed to just moderate, which is what we have. And I, that doesn't sound fun. <laughs> I really want to go, um, my in-laws, my, my, the guy and I are meeting my in-laws, his parents, my in-laws, and I haven't seen them in a year. And so I really do want to see them, but oh, that air quality, that air quality is definitely, so hopefully by the time we get to go, maybe, maybe there will have been some rain, maybe they'll be able to get, they've already said they're not going to get control of this fire until like January until the actual rains show up and, and really sock in. So I can hope, I can hope that the air quality gets better because right now if I was there, I would be very unhappy and like attached to my inhaler with um, my, my super mask on that I wear during smoke season because my lungs are already shot. I have very bad lungs. And I do not need to add to the horribleness that they have been experiencing, <laughs> which, um, yeah, they're, the smoke has been bad for my lungs. Let's just say that. Very bad. All this, all this smoke is very bad for my lungs, but yeah. So I'm hoping that cleans up because I do want to look forward to this trip and I'm not yet. Only because of the weather. We'll see. We'll see. And then later on in the month, I have another trip. And I need to stick all of my spooky stitching in around all of this because I do want this jar to be empty on November 1st. I do not know if it will be, but I really want this jar to be empty on November 1st. And then I doubt I'm going to have finished any of these projects because, well, the first one I pulled is a nice small one. The rest of them are really are not. Oh no, they are not. There are things like the autumn lane design. Sorry, I'm pointing at the bag. The autumn lane design giantness of five skeins of black and things like that. So they will not be finished. But I'm going to put all of them back in here and perhaps, perhaps I'll join in on dark 13 stitching and on the 13th of every month, I'll just grab one out of here and that'll be what I stitch on on the 13th. She's got plans, folks. We'll see if they're lies or if they're actually plans. <laughs> Who knows? Um, yeah, other than that, my life's pretty boring. The, the, the kitty, the kitty, she's, like I said at the beginning, beginning, at the beginning of this, she's starting to not hate me as much for the insulin injections. <laughs> she's still hating me for the diet, but uh, she's a chonky girl and the vet wants her to be eight pounds and she's like 16. So <laughs> that'll take some time. And 
she's just my happy little girl. She's just sitting, sorry, I keep looking down because she's just curled up right at my feet, happy as can be, hanging out with me, and it's adorable. Now that she's not trying to knock over the cheap tripod, tripod so yeah, it's a lot more adorable when she's not trying to rock your world. Yeah, there's, there's, uh, life is very smooth right now. Busy, busy, but smooth. And I will take that. I, I would like a little less busy, and I'd like a little more autumn, so that I can do what I'm hoping to do for like the next three months, which is sit, knit slash stitch, under a blanket, with tea, listening to the rain on my roof. Yeah, that's, that's what I want my next three months to be, if not longer. Maybe leave my house on occasion. Maybe. But that, that seems excessive. <sighs> Other than that, yeah, things are smooth, if busy. I'm good with that. I'm good with smooth. So I really don't have much more to add here. I will let you all go and watch your next floss tube, vlog tube, vlog tube. Wow. YouTube podcast, floss tube, what have you. And I will see you all here in two weeks. And you can see what wonderful stitching I have done. See if I've started a sleeve. See if I've finished a sleeve. See if I've finished two sleeves. Yeah, that last one's not going to happen, but maybe one, maybe one, maybe one. Until then, take care. May your gauge be accurate. May your borders meet. And may your life also be smooth. Take care all. Bye-bye.